Hey there guys, so another part of the video series. Um, this one's been a bit a little bit delayed here. Um, I ran into some issues with my uh, GTX Titan, um, so I've actually returned it, got a replacement in, and um, I also bought a second one. So, gonna make this quick. You guys kind of already saw the unboxing video, so I'm just gonna unbox one of these. Um, actually, I'll just take the plastic off and show you guys both in their super awesome glory, and um, then I'll throw them both in my system and uh, show you guys a little uh, video preview kind of tour of my system, how I have everything set up, kind of a finalized video. Uh, for the most part, I do still have two hard drives coming, um, but uh, I mean, that's not a huge deal anyway, and you can't really see them in the build, so uh, yeah, I'll quickly open these up for you guys, and uh, yeah. Oh, wait, should I open this? And uh, just so you guys know, before I do this, I'm going to time lapse this unboxing until they're both open, and then I'll come back in. So, yeah. Okay, so we're back, and uh, as you guys can see, this kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, EVJ has already changed up their uh, packaging uh, for the Titan. Um, this is probably the, uh, I don't know how many shipments in we are, but if you go back, look at my last video on the Titan, you'll see that they actually have the styrofoam uh, packaging on the Titan. Now they've switched up to the plastic boxes. Um, both are fairly common. I mean, they both provide adequate protection for the card, so that's no problem for me. Uh, they still have the, the heat shrink wrap on them, or not heat shrink wrap, but whatever this wrap is that they put on the glass. Um, pop it out of here. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much the same as, well, it's exactly the same as my uh, previous card. So, I mean, no complaints there, really. I mean, what is there to complain about? It's a Titan. Unfortunately, my last one was, I'm assuming, a lemon. Doo-doo-doo. Uh, so, yeah, there's, uh, there's number one. And, uh, there's number two. In all their, uh, super-duper glory awesomeness. So, like I said, I'm going to go install them in the system and come back with a bit of a uh, kind of video overview. Uh, a few of you may have already seen my um, battle station overview video, which I kind of just went over how I have everything set up right now. Uh, that's still not complete either. I'm missing one monitor. The two on the outside are uh, basically uh, Asus PA 248Qs. Really nice monitors, IPS displays, 6 millisecond response time, which is plenty for gaming, in my opinion. I don't really see the difference. I don't see the, the responsiveness change between anything really below 10. Uh, that might just be me. Uh, anyway, but I'm missing the center one. That's an old Samsung uh, 2443BW, I believe. It's a TN panel, not nearly as nice. So yeah, uh, stay right here, and I'll come back with an overview.